Well, if you are looking at, you know, the company uh, have continued uh, mm -hmm. improving its financial performance. You know, yeah. we just announced our second quarter result. Uh, we yeah. have an improved EBITDA on a group basis, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 116% uh, year on year. Uh, uh, definitely, you know, all this is really true. Uh, uh, really the execution of the team. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you are looking at, we continue also adding uh, new subscriber. Uh, definitely, I think in terms of especially the home broadband market uh, is, is slowing down over the last couple of years. Uh, but still Malaysia uh, just only reached a home broadband penetration slightly more than 60%. 60%? Yeah, 60 yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you benchmark ourselves against country like Korea, um, uh, uh, Taiwan, Singapore, uh, whereby the uh, household broadband penetration is is beyond ninety percent. Mm -hmm. So we still have a very good, you know, thirty over percent to go uh, in the next uh, few years. A uh, still very very good uh, 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 potential, you know, uh, but uh, it's, 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 it's coming. Uh, uh, slower, right? Okay. Uh, but the, the good thing is that we are also preparing ourselves really moving from a pure broadband provider mm -hmm. into a full-fledged convert, you know, a fixed and mobile services yes. as well. So yes. what that means is that with our LTE spectrum, with our license, uh, we, are, we are going to start offering mobile services uh, starting next year as well. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you know, that, that's also one of the toughest things. Uh, yeah, that couldn't have been easy. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I think yeah. when, when you come to, you know, any uh, decision, if you're asking me, you know, in terms of strategy, in terms of investment, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of making uh, judgmental call, you know, mm -hmm. on, on, on business division. Uh, I never feel any issue, stress or pressure. If you ask me, you know, over the last uh, or, or, or recently, what have been the toughest thing to do and, and, and I think always to any uh, successful corporate leader or entrepreneur is really about the people, yeah. right? As, as uh, we always treasure uh, uh, the people and the colleague uh, working with us, uh, it was really the toughest that I have decision that I have to make, you know, in the recent time. And when do you foresee the LTE ecosystem becoming, you know, really, really taking off in Malaysia? Yeah, if you are really looking at what is happening uh, in the global arena, mm -hmm. yeah, because uh, other than P1, the operator mm -hmm. business, uh, green packet, the solution business. Yes. Uh, we are also a a, a key four G devices. Yes. I'm talking yeah. on non screen devices, yes. Yes. Uh, developer and supplier mm -hmm. uh, to the world. Uh, we are we you know in terms of worldwide we rank the world number three after Motorola and Samsung, okay. right? Uh, uh, we see right now only the, the, uh, the product, the ecosystem, especially in terms of device, is still mainly on the non screen. There are a few more there uh, available. Uh, but I think by end of the year, we will see, especially you know, uh, with the big deployment of the China carrier, like China Mobile, yes, yeah. uh, China Telecom, and all mm -hmm. these start deploying LTE, mm -hmm. and, and China will be the biggest LTE network in the world. Uh, yep. China Mobile are talking about yeah. two hundred thousand base station. That is wow. like, you know, uh, uh, hundred times more than any operator yeah, yeah, here yeah. in Malaysia. So, yeah. so with that deployment, also the same thing happening in India, right? Okay. Uh, we see uh, even first half of next year, we are really seeking, uh, really looking at the, the strong momentum of the LT. So, so, so you know, talking from experience, I think right now we mm -hmm. really wanted to concentrate on, on what we are committed to deliver, to execute the plan, and really the focus is really on okay. improving EBITDA Q on Q year on year. I see. Yeah. There are four main players in your industry. You know, why, what do you think is uh, your competitive edge compared to the other players? Uh, uh, I think it's really first, you know, have a, 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 a very in-depth understanding about technology. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, you know, being, you know, started as a technology company, we always, you know, have an edge and an insight mm -hmm. about the technology, the usage and the development. That's one very key thing. Uh, the second thing is really what we have is really I think we have we have built 
a, a, a very capable and competent team, yep. right? Uh, as I always say, uh, it's really the people that make the difference, right? Okay. And, and, and the third thing, I think we have very strong strategic investor and shareholder yes, yeah, that yes. have been backing us, you yeah. know, from, from day one, from very early day, even before we launched the service Intel, right? And it comes, you know, in year 2010, mm -hmm. and they are still with us. Uh, SK yes, Telecom, they yes. are the biggest uh, mobile operator in South Korea uh, that Correct. is famous uh, for technology, you know, that's yeah. famous for broadband penetration. Okay. And SK Telecom are uh, the biggest uh, LTE provider in Asia currently as well. There okay. are more than 10 million uh, LTE subscribers uh, today. Yeah. I, 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 I think if I, you are right, you know, Malaysia mm -hmm. uh, uh, is, we only have 28 million population, yeah. right? Uh, all together, if I'm looking at, uh, actually there's, there's only, if I'm really talking about serious telco player, uh, they are really, uh, all together, seven of us currently. Yes. They already have significant infrastructure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the three mobile incumbent, yes. you yeah. know, the fixed incumbent, uh, the three new players that yes. have significant infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, I do agree that uh, somehow the industry will consolidate and also will converge. At some point, maybe, when do you think that would happen? Uh, I think, you know, I don't have the crystal ball or the, you know, uh, uh, fortune telling or reading capability of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm so angry, <laughs> I wish I can uh, predict.